Well, Christmas is just a few days away, and I thought I'd play a Christmas-inspired 2GS game for you. Unfortunately, there are no Christmas-inspired 2GS games, so I got the next best thing. Strip Poker! So what's there to say about this game? It's strip poker too. And the goal is obviously to undress one of these lovely brunettes in a friendly game of poker. You can play against Melissa or Susie. And they both kind of have that girl next door look. But I think I prefer Susie, so I'll go ahead and select her. So not much to say that isn't obvious by the screen you're looking at. It's five card draw poker, plain and simple. You both start off with $100 and your clothes on. Once you or Susie run out of money, it's time to start offering off pieces of clothing. And no, socks don't count. The first one to lose all their clothes, loses. And the winner gets to stare at them. I tend to bet everything I have in these early hands because, well, what's the point in holding back? You got nothing to lose, you can always just reset it. Hey, I got two pair. That worked out. Let's bet it all. Aw, oh, Susie, she got scared. Okay, I won't bet everything this time. I'll bet 20. Alright, another two pair. And she raised. Okay, I'll bet everything. Alright. And she is down to zero. So as you can see, she offers her blouse. Alright, I'm going all in with a pair of sixes. And that's all I got. I'll stay. Hey, I got the better hand. All right, Miss Susie. I'll be taking that blouse, please. <laughs> that's cute. She wants a new deck. Well, there you go. One article of clothing gone. If this keeps up, you pervs might see some 16-bit, badly scanned nipple after all. But don't start tossing away your porn collection yet. I still got to win this thing. Wow, three of a kind. I don't usually have this kind of luck. Not that I play this game often or anything. What kind of a sicko would do that? Hey, she offered her skirt. Okay, tell you what. You don't judge me for playing, I won't judge you for watching. Deal? You know, I have a suspicion that she wants to take off her clothes, because honestly, I'm not this good at poker. If I was, I wouldn't be playing a computer game, I'd be at the casino. I'd love to see a where are they now on these girls, like... Melissa and Susie had a promising career as the two stars of a computer strip poker game. What have they made for themselves? It'd be funny if they were like politicians or something and these old pictures surfaced. Of course, now that I think about it, this picture is probably close to 30 years old, which means we're actually staring at a 60-year-old woman in a way, which is really making me creeped out right now. Yeah, maybe it's time to shut this thing off. Oh, but she's offering her bra. We can't turn back now. We must stay the course, gentlemen, and see this thing through. <laughs> she wants a new deck of cards, huh? Sorry, guys, as much as I'd like to show you what lies behind that 2GS, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't want to get banned from YouTube. I've actually already made that mistake once in the past, so don't want to repeat that. But hey, totally off topic. Susie kind of reminds me of Becky from Full House. You know, minus the nipple. There you go. Do you guys see that? Kind of kind of looks like her. Well, actually from this angle it doesn't really look like her at all actually. Okay, pay no attention to what I'm talking about. I'm rambling. Let's get back on track. All right, I'm all in. Let's get this game over with. Enough screwing around. If I win this hand, she loses everything. The bra, the panties, and it's over. I won it. Wow, she was completely bluffing. Look at that. Nothing. And that's it. She loses everything. And at this point, the winner just gets to stare at a nude picture of her. And what's kind of interesting is the picture just stays on there indefinitely until you click your mouse. So I wonder what the winner was supposed to do at this point. Yeah, let's not go there. Okay, so, after you win the game, you can go ahead and face off against a different opponent. And on this disc, again, we only have the two, so I can go to Melissa. 
And it's really the same old thing. Except I think Melissa is probably a little bit more tough than Susie. That was just pathetic on her part. I mean, they might as well have just called the game Strip. And why even bother with the cards? Anyone for a good game of Strip? I'm in! That's my sexy woman voice, if you couldn't tell. So there's one more Strip Poker game available for this system. It's called Teenage Queen. Now obviously I need to address this introduction screen. This is the most unfitting intro screen I've probably ever seen for a game. And yes, it's a crack screen, courtesy of the Blasters. But still, Hitler is on a strip poker game. Never would have thought I'd see those two things together. I do have to admit though, the intro music is pretty damn badass. Take a listen. So this is Teenage Queen. It's a French strip poker game, and by that I mean all dialogue is in French, though with lots of moans and groans it should be pretty easy to translate. Obviously this game doesn't use real actors for its characters like Strip Poker 2, but rather beautifully drawn 16 color graphics. I won't bother talking about the rules since, again, it's just another 5 card draw poker game, but here we actually get some sound, which is a nice touch. After each of her clothing is removed, a new scene is shown with her saying something sexy. <laughs> and really that's all there is to say about this game. If you're in the market for some 16-bit strip poker games, and well, who isn't, check these ones out. Thanks for watching.